Welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick, and we've got another live trade today. Um, so there's a few things I want to go through. I will tell you why I'm in this trade. There's two reasons, and hopefully we get TP while I am recording. So that's the trade right now. If you've been following the channel, you know my setup. I like to see a little trend going in one direction, and what we're looking for is an intraday reversal. So whether it lasts for five minutes or whether it goes and does a manner that gives us 80 pips or 100 pips or whether it just gives us six pips it doesn't matter i'm looking to scalp these moves and i've seen my setup and i'm taking it i've placed my order and just waiting for that to play out so as that's going i'm going to talk to you a little bit about the second move i'm in so you can see there's two entries here there's an entry here that's based on my normal setup but there's an entry right at the top here so I was actually able to get into my normal setup a lot earlier than I normally do how why I'm gonna explain that to you today that's what this video is mainly about okay so how am I able to catch the tops of these moves why why or what makes me think that these moves are gonna start reversing or starting at a certain price point what gives me the confidence okay so let's look at the charts this is how i read the charts as you know i read based on supply and demand in my opinion it's the best way to read charts because it actually makes sense okay it's the simplest and most logical way to read charts okay so to do so we need to understand what supply and demand is so on h1 to give you a better view of what's going on Let's just get rid of this trade levels for a second. H1, wait, let me just mark out my TP so I can keep an eye on it. I believe it was roughly here. H1 now, and I'm gonna give you an example of what supply and demand is and why I decided to get into this move and why I got in on an aggressive entry not based on any indicators and not even based on my um, normal candle pattern prints that i like to see my confirmation of the move yeah so let's try to keep this simple if you look at the definition of supply and demand it's a bit confusing so i'm going to keep it really simple supply is sellers okay supply is where sellers came into the market so here's an example based on what i'm trading now so here we saw a lot of sellers came into the market and it took it from price from here and it pushed it down. Okay. Yeah. And then what happened here? Demand. Demand is when buyers came into the market. So here buyers came into the market and took it from here and took it up back to this midpoint here. Okay. Here is the equilibrium. This is where buyers and sellers are more or less agreeing on a price point okay so that would be the equilibrium here and that's what we saw here there was an agreement of price for a while before sellers took over the market and pushed the price further down and that's what's been going on so that's the story of these charts so uh, sellers came in here supply pushed the market down buyers came in pushed the market up sellers like this price again at this price point where they started pushing the market down so they got in again and that's what's been going that's the trend that's support um that's not support and resistance so that's supply and demand okay so that's the basic understanding you need to have of supply and, and demand okay so that being said down here if we look on the uh, daily we are in a demand zone i think uh, if you've been following my videos i think i called price from around here and i said i want to see it push down down into this demand zone and fill most of this because price has not been back here and if i am a buyer this is where i would like to buy because this is where buyers stepped in and really drove the market up so as you can see price came down here there was a reversal pattern it was a quasimodo reversal pattern which is visible on the higher time frames as well which is on m30 or m15 let's just go to that quickly you can see that here and that's when price got pushed up from there okay so Cosimodo is similar to the setup I trade we need a fake breakout uh, price returned aggressively pulls back and goes off so that's our left shoulder that's our head 
that's our right shoulder and it pulls off so that's what happened there so we know now that buyers are in the market and right now buyers are in control of the market because it beat the supply zone this was the last area where price pushed it down so when it came back here at this price point sellers were not interested okay so it went past so it's looking for sellers in the market so this is a foreign exchange so buyers are looking for sellers and sellers are looking for uh, buyers you get in here you hold price and because there's no buyers up here price drops okay some buyers stepped in but when it came here sellers got back in and buyers were not interested price dropped again okay and that's how it's been going and at this point where buyers were like well this is a discount i really like the price point so uh, buyers got in here and it's pushed up sellers were not interested at this price point here they were not interested at this price point here and they were not interested at this price point here these are what i would call used supply zones because it pushed it down here it came here got used already pushed it down here came here again got used again and now sellers are not interested in selling here because buyers are starting to take over the market they're strong at this price point they really like the price and they're pushing it up okay so why did i get into a trade so early here well if you look at if we're looking for where could sellers be interested in getting in again we've already seen they got in here a few times if we look at this point here this is where they last got in that their price hasn't visited since so price has now come back up to this zone here and it's slowed down now again i still got in so that's that's an indication i would expect some kind of reversal to try drive price down here and offer uh, the commodity the currency to buyers and buyers at this point may be interested in taking back price back up and pushing it back up so we're going to wait and see so that's the theory get in here and potentially drive it down there now my early entry that's what this video is about so i was able to catch an early entry and as you can see my entry is right at the top of this move here let's get my trade levels up again it's right at the top at this move here and the reason i was able to catch such an early entry is because i understand the um, how supply and demand works so i simply asked myself if i wanted to enter the market as a seller i don't want to enter at a price that's been visited already i want a really good price okay so where could that be well the last place price hasn't visited since is up here so as price is coming towards there i'm like okay this is where i would be interested in getting into price here so if i'm a seller and i'm looking for a good way to enter into price I just need to grab a tool. I'm looking for a good way to enter price. I am looking for a decent price point, right? And how do I find it? So this is when I may use an indicator, but I rarely use them. <laughs> I don't even know where to find it on this chart, actually. But this is, I'll, I'll just explain it. This is when I would use an uh, a tool. It's not even an indicator, it's a tool. All of you know it as the Fibonacci, okay? Uh, I do not know how to use the Fibonacci to the traditional way. All I know is I needed a way to measure price at a discounted uh, price where I will find it interesting to jump in, okay? So I took uh, the Fib and I adjusted it to the settings that I wanted and I placed the top of the Fib on the H1 candle, actually. Let's just zoom in. I, I, can't, I don't know where the Fib is here, so I can't show you exactly how to do it and i normally trade off my phone so that doesn't help either so what i do is i place the fib at the body of the uh, h1 candle here that pushed it down and i'm looking for where the price started pushing it back up okay so i put it again at the body of this price point here where it started pushing it up and it reached the equilibrium okay so let's just get rid of my entries and my tp for now so we have here the zone and we are looking at this uh, zone here and i'm looking for a discount so i ask myself what could be the best discount if someone's to offer me to get into the market what price point would i like 
So if someone offered me a discount, remember I'm selling, right? So his price out is most expensive. If someone offered me a discount at 10%, that's roughly here. Do I want to get into the market there? Not necessarily. If someone offered me a discount of 50%, would I want to get into the market here? So you can see with the naked eye, this is roughly 50% of this zone, okay? So here, right? At 50%, would I want to get into the market? Well, this is a 50% discount. If I'm buying goods, shoes, clothes, food, whatever, the technology, someone offered me a 50% discount, I'll be interested. So as you can see, sellers did, they were interested, they got into the market here and it pushed the market down further. Okay, prices come back up. I'm no longer interested in 50% discount. That's rubbish now. I want a better discount. How about 70%? Mm, can I do better? Yes. How about 10%? Do you know what? Um, sorry, 80, a 90% discount. 90% discount, that would be phenomenal. That would be great. So this is what I based it on. I looked for where I think would be best value to enter the market. So I, I adjusted the fib tool to uh, print me a 90% discount, did the measurements, back tested it, and I was missing the entries by one or two pips. So I said to myself, let's go for a 12.5% discount. And again, it hit a lot of, um, I back tested in different pairs, it hit a lot of zones and it gave me a reaction, but sometimes I still missed it by one or two pips. So I said to myself, you know what? 20% discount. At 20% discount, I should be able to enter the moves and not miss nothing at all, okay? So for this move here, I got my fib tool out, entered, uh, uh, placed the zero mark there, and placed the 100% mark there, and I had the settings set to 50, sorry, 80, 50, and 20, okay? So either direction, I'm still reading it for 20% discount, okay? So when it price got up to here at the 20% discount rate, I entered straight away, okay? So let me, I got it at there. Okay, I enter straight away, and that's where my entry is. Let's get our trade levels back up, and you can see that's roughly. Well, I even got a better price point, so that's roughly. Yeah, smack on. That's roughly. That's exactly where I entered. Okay, at the twenty percent discount of this move here. So now I'm in the move. I took a. I initially just scout this move. All of this was a scalping strategy that I developed. This is completely unique to me. As you can see, I'm just, you know, going off the hip right here. Um, I, I got all the levels off the top of my head. I know where they are without a tool, okay? This is completely unique to me on how I use the FIB based on the knowledge I have with supply and demand, which is very limited, <laughs> very basic. And I was able to find these, this entry, right? So I initially scalped that move. So let's just zoom back into this move. So I was here, I scouted that move and I scouted it for 10 pips, which was down here. So I scouted it for 10 pips there, okay? That's all I needed. So that's all I wanted because my initial, when I was using this strategy, it was just for 10 pips, I got it here. Recently, as you know, I found a way to find the beginning of trends and I trade with the trends based on my setup. And as you can see, it's also where my setup was printed. We had the small um, trend here on the one minute. Price pull down here, pulls up, pulls down to break this pivot point, this low here. It, it broke it, as you can see. And it also created our first flag here. So this is our fake breakout, our first pole, our flag here our second pole and we're just looking for price to create a third pole here okay so we're looking for it to push down here to create the third pole and my tp is there okay so typically my tp is there but with everything taken into consideration what i've said i'm looking to run these equal lows because that's just liquidity sitting there so i may hold it a little bit longer or i may take tp we're going to see and that's it and hopefully i'm going to leave a runner i've left the runner based on this guy so i've taken um I've taken more than 90% of the move already from uh, this 10 pips here. 
I got back into the move and I saw my setup is available here. So I'm going to take my setup and just I'm just keeping that as a one to one. OK, based on this range, my entry roughly there, my range is this point here. So my one to one from this is roughly nine pips. Let's call it 10 pips. So 10 pips from here, I'm looking to take this down to exactly there. OK, so that's what I'm looking to do one to one there. I have got a TP down here. Now, why have I got a partials um, or runner aiming for this zone here? If you look again, supply and demand, this is a demand zone, but it's being used. It's prices visited already. And they're very small, weak demand zones. So I'm looking for a, pr a price point where buyers will look at this and think, oh, this is really nice. And this zone here is where I would like to see price. I would like to take it to, why? because this is an unused demand zone okay so if price pulls all the way down the best place for buyers to step back in is here so if i'm a buyer and i'm interested in this i may be interested later to be honest but this is my two trades i shouldn't trade this because i'm trying to reduce how many trades i take a day but this is where i'll be interested because I know I'm going to get a reaction based off this imbalance and also price trying to be efficient, the market try to be efficient, it should try and fill this imbalance by offering um, offering this price point to buyers. An imbalance is where there's a disagreement in price, where there's only one party, there's no equilibrium, there's only buyers here. So price may bring it all the way down here to see if sellers are interested if sellers are interested they get into the market it's going to push it further down and maybe continue the higher time frame trend downtrend that we currently are in okay we're gonna see that's all that's if you want to hold the move right now i'm just interested in scalping it and it's almost at tp and i'm going to keep it as simple as that First entry is simple enough. I know it was quite complex what I explained, but once you had that understanding, you could then look for these zones. So I scout that move. I'm right at the top. I'm at break even for that first move. I've got nothing to lose. So I decided to get into this move. I saw my setup, very consistent setup. I've got nothing to lose. Why not? Okay. I've left the one with that first move to see if it goes down there. We're going to see. So we're going to keep it that simple. Hopefully you have learnt a lot from this and I know I've covered a lot and I know I'm giving you all these goods, all these gems, everything completely for free. So if you do appreciate it, I know a lot of you do. So thank you for that. If you do appreciate it, hit the like button, support the channel, hit the subscribe button, support the channel. And I'll keep getting these videos out and I keep giving you, sharing my insights with you as I've been doing, okay? Um, this is Patrick, and I'm signing out now. Hopefully you get TP, I'll let you know. Well, if you watch this, you know if we've got TP or not. This is Patrick signing out, and until next time, peace.